Menacing skies above Fred Byer Field and two menacing attacks. St. John's and Anthony Wayne lace up after a lightning delay. Titan strike in the first two minutes. General strike right back. Misplayed ball buried by Charlie Woodward. 1-1, just three and a half minutes in, and they're just getting started later in the half. Tieran Loisel finds Matthew Grothaus on the throw in. Magnificent placement on the header. Titans slide into a 2-1 lead, but the Generals have an answer two minutes later. Their turn on the throw in, and guess who? Woodward. Apparently, Lightning does strike the same place twice. Locked for most of the second half, 16 minutes to go. Adam Cash comes up clutch. A happy senior night for the home team. Pouring down goals in a 3-2 win. Mason Lowry and Ryan Hannadell staying dry high above the field. Well, you know, guys, this was a game that was really defined by two things, both starting with the letter L, lightning and the long ball. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that we're not used to seeing from St. John's is they're more of that possessive team. We see them like to pass the ball around a little bit before going forward, but this second half they were going long, 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 and that's what led to quite a few goals in both first and second half. Yeah, lightning and the long ball led to a long night for all of us, and it's one of those things. We know these two teams, Anthony Wayne in particular, are capable on scoring from long throw-ins, corners, free kicks, etc. Four of the five goals we saw tonight were decided in exactly that way. Yeah, and Anthony Wayne, obviously, they hit those long throws, but it was St. John's that came through, and they, they made it count on the free free kicks, as well as the long throws. I think it was because of all the set-piece goals and the physicality that was present throughout the night. This really felt like a tournament preview, and not just because this is a matchup we might see again a month from now. Yeah, you know, the the state's kind of shaking up the the divisions here, but Anthony Wayne, St. John, St. Francis, these are all teams that are in Division Two now, and they might see each other. You know, all three teams have played each other now throughout the season, and we've seen a lot of the same results going one way or another between St. Francis, St. John's, St. John's, Anthony Wayne. And really, there's not much left to sell, and we would have to wait till the tournament to see what's going to shake out. Yeah, you have to think those will be the top three teams in the district. I'm wondering with the uh, tournament draw coming up less than two weeks from tonight as, as we sit here right now, if this result might change anything, any line of thinking for any coaches that are in the room on that day. Yeah, that's a tough call to say. You know, it, a lot goes into that, whether it's going to be, hey, where are we going to play? Are we going to be on grass? Are we going to be on turf? Um, how many teams are in our district anymore? Because that's all new this year. A long night of soccer here on Airport Highway has finally come to an end. St. John's with a 3-2 win over Anthony Wayne.